Okay, landing on Mars. Let's do the damn thing. I'm just fucking with this ship right now. I'm sorry, I'm fucking with my magic bus right now. Too much magic bus, one could argue. Yes, that's a reference to the Who for anyone who's into the classical classical rock. Classic rock. What the fuck am I talking about? I find that now my hands are all sticky with AMP ointment. I should probably elaborate. If you listen to the past episode, I put AMP ointment on my bug bites live because uh yeah, they were annoying me and I thought I would share some personal wisdom there, so that's what I did. But anyway, um Mars looks kinda cool, I guess, right? This is where we, we men come from. Um, according to popular lore. Okay, that's where I need to get. Why don't you put the landing pad between two spires of ridiculousness? Oh, I didn't bring my delicate driving hands to work today. It's getting kinda... Getting real sick of your shit, Magic School Bus. Okay, the entrance is on that side. Come on past me, realize this. Anyway, the ointment's making the, uh, sensations a lot better, so, I did teach you something last time and this time. I forget if I mentioned whether it worked or not. We gotta take care of this flea problem, I'm telling you. Oh look, who knew you could shatter another rock? Booyakasha. I have ten lives. How many do we, how many do you even start with? Was it like eight or seven, I think, probably? Was it three? Because <laughs> I'll be real impressed with myself if it was three. Walking on Mars. I predict this particular feat will be done in real life before my life ends. If we start giving NASA the funding they need. Oh hey, this was recorded during the stupid government shutdown of 2013. The government shut down because Republicans in general in the Senate were not realizing that you can't stop working because you don't like something? At least that's kind of my impression of it. I wasn't a huge fan of the Health Care Act either. But you can't just, like, be like, okay, fine, we're not gonna do anything then. That's like some fucking, th fucking three-year-old shit. And since Republicans were the ones doing it, they're the ones I'm taking to task right now. On this commentary. Just, if you guys, if anyone listening is looking for a political party to join, go Libertarian. It makes the most sense. I'm telling you. It's not associated with the smoke pot man values that people like to say it is. Personal liberties are more important than governmental abilities. Which is what's right. The government should be able to tap my phone and shit. Get that star. I'm sorry I'm going so off topic. 
Um, Mars is kind of a dull place, you know what I mean? It looks like the greater New Mexico desert, but space. Hustle Kid. Before I recorded this, I was playing some Madden, so. You did it! Oh, Madden. I think we might be doing that in a in multiplayer someday, which will be fun, because I'll get to school people in Madden. Or perhaps they'll school me by knowing nothing about how to play the game. You never know sometimes, you know? Alright, a mountain on Mars. You you can do this, Justin. You're good. Alright, we're off to a great start. I am kind of moving here. You can do it past me. Oh, that's what I messed up. Okay. I'm like watching this now thinking like, what the fuck was I doing wrong? Huh, interesting. I suppose. Oh, mountains and rocks all look the same. Sorry if my volume was kind of... being in and out sometimes. The headset's pretty cool, but uh... If I, like, knock the mouth area around, it kind of moves easily. That's what I get for not buying a $40 headset. And being, you know, economical with my purchases. Oh, well. Matching pairs for Mars. See, we keep getting more matching pairs as the story goes on. As the story, as the adventure goes on. Deimos. It's one of Mars' shitty moons. So is Phobos. That's a face. You thought our moon looked shitty. And that's just a bunch of hills, apparently. Or that's what the big wigs at the government want you to think. <laughs> there, are these, there are these shows that are on, like, Destination America and these other weird um, channels that are like, uh... Unearth alien files decrypted and stuff, where they like, and I, I like to think about aliens and stuff like that, but it, it puts it in the most outlandish, like, way of presenting it possible, where they're like, um, yeah, humans are being experimented on in this secret underground base, and there are human body parts floating in jars of blue liquid, and there was actually a war there, and the humans could shoot the aliens. The aliens went down. It wasn't too strange. They were working on creating a hybrid creature that was going to wipe us out eventually. And, like, I'm listening to this, and I'm thinking to myself, alright, I'm, I'm willing to listen to your story, but you need to first be... you need to give it to me in small doses, instead of saying, you're being lied to, you're sheeple, a fucking word I hate, but, <laughs> You know, you, you, have to, you have to present things slowly, or no one will take you seriously, conspiracy theorist. And I love conspiracy theories, too. I'm all over it. It's one of my primary uses for the internet back in the day. On old Windows 98, I would sit and watch that show on Sci-Fi Channel called Sightings back in the day, when Sci-Fi was actually about, like, science fiction and shit. And, uh, <laughs> it was like a daily show about, uh, ghost hunting and all that whatnot. I would actually, uh, go to, this is before the days of Google, was, I'm old school with Alta Vista, and, uh, I'd go there, and I would search for alien stuff. 
These are like days over the summer when I was at my grandmother's house, and uh, it would be like four wheel of for before four wheel of fortune before the price is right. Anyway, that's what I used to do as a kid over the summer. Space. That's Jupiter. It's fast there. You know, the great red spot on Jupiter is a storm, right? I'm sure you learned that in your astronomy class in elementary school. Do they even have those in elementary school anymore? They're cutting out good programs. They're like, put back Jim. Like, listen, like, Jim is important, you know? But they're cutting art and music programs. How are you going to learn to play shit? And here we are again in the asteroid section, and I... I, I think I just start suiciding here, because I don't want to do this again. This is like one of the few playthroughs I've done where I've completely kind of uncut. It's like an uncut presentation because it's like so contained within itself that that's possible. You know what I'm saying? Where did you learn to drive a spaceship? Star Wars? Is that an acceptable answer? Alright, time to take pictures again. That's a moon. Did you know on, uh... One of Jupiter's many moons, they think there's an underwater, like, submerged ocean? Beneath layers of ice? That's pretty cool to think about, right? We fucking space whales there and shit. I don't know. Like I said, I'm really interested in space, so I think that's why this game appealed to a young Rolls. Landing on the clouds of Jupiter. Because Jupiter's a gas giant. You can't... You can't land in the center, you'll just be crushed by pressure. It's pretty lame, huh? Like, I first heard that, I was like... Oh, these giant planets, that must be so cool. They're like, no, it's made of gas. There's no real surface to speak of. I was like, well, guess we can't land there and do stuff then. Teacher's like, nah. Like, huh. And she was like, and I was like, and she was like, and I was like. I hate talking like that. It, sometimes it slips out, though. You know what I'm saying? I like saying you know what I'm saying. I keep doing it. Anyway, that was a qu really quick landing sequence, because... I'm the best drive. I'm the best magical spaceship bus driver in town. Really limited to that position too. Like, you, see, you, you do that or you do nothing. 